Hello to all traders and welcome back to another video brought to you by Orbex. So we're looking at the dollar and gold as gold has seen an advancement uh, to the 1800 handle recently and we've seen the dollar index plummet quite significantly. So this is on the back of the inflation and core inflation rate that have eased over the last October monthly period when the results were released last week. So we've seen that now the Fed won't have such an aggressive uh, policy hiking rate anymore. Uh, the next December meeting possibly will see a little bit of easing on the inflationary measures which has spurred a lot of bears into the dollar and bulls into the yellow metal that is gold. So we've seen now a little bit of an upshift on gold. We're seeing this kind of V-shaped recovery from the last peak that we saw a few months ago, roughly about uh, the end of September. So we'll look what's in store for everything as we go into Monday morning. So there's a bit of a neg negative factor on the dollar as it prompts the market uh, to discount a less restrictive monetary policy next time around by the Fed. So we'll see if that comes into play in December. There's still a couple of months, to, well, just over a month to go until that happens. But as we're looking on the charts today, as you can see here, it's actually looking very, very positive for gold. I've just been tracking the next time we're going to see a possible move to the 1800 handle. And as you can see here, it is looking slightly progressive now as we see more and more of a push on risk aversion and seeing gold really, really heighten in the last few trading sessions. This is on a daily chart, don't forget. So as you can see here, I'll just remove uh, the drawings that I've just done. Just zoom in for a little bit of better encounter. As you can see here, going from 1626 all the way up to over 1750 so a $100 move in just a few sessions and as you can see not really many corrections here possibly another slight one here before we head higher so the 1800 handle for a lot of investors is going to be the main point at which we see either a break in the norm or if we're going to start falling a little bit further lower but the chances are that gold will start will keep pushing higher and the dollar will be retracting quite significantly as well. So dollar has US index especially has seen quite a big push in the last few months. But is this no longer a correction? Are we heading for um, fresh lows for the DXY? We'll see that shortly. But just want to look on the full four hour chart at the moment. As you can see here, with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud, it's moving vastly to the upside. So, as I said, 1800 is the next target event there. It's 1760 at the moment. It's not, you know, in the course of a couple of days, it's not really going to be a big surprise if we get a $40 push to the upside and back to the 1800 handle. So, just look out for that in the near term at least. Now, just moving on to the DXY as well, just wanted to show you the vast dissension we've seen. We'll just put it back to a daily chart because I just want to show you now how much it's just collapsed in the last few trading sessions. So, a little bit like the gold, the last few sessions which have seen pretty much a six to seven dollar collapse. On the DXY and as you can see here we were in the beginning looking for a slight correction we've seen quite a few corrective prices here but as you can see here very big resistance zone here consolidating and since the news came out about the inflationary measures we have seen that big collapse here which was just at this point here so now with the assistance of the Ichimoku cloud we're trading very far below it uh, the lower board has been punctured a few times but now it seems like it's going to be here to stay. So is the $100 handle the next significant psychological zone for a lot of economists? Well, the word is out that it is. So we'll see if that is going to bring it into fruition in the next few trading sessions. And on the four hour chart as well, we're just seeing now slightly more of a downward bias for the DXY. As you can see here, very, very vast uh, bearish signals we are expecting a slight consolidation for the next few hours, but then we are possibly seeing another move to the downside. So how far that down, how far down that will go will depend on the next news events coming out of America. Obviously, the NFP has come and gone. The inflation measures have come and gone. We'll see for PPI, CPI and other de details as well. Sorry, not the CPI, the um, manufacturing and services industries as well. So these are all coming up shortly. And as I said, one more rate hike possibly to go, but will it be a 75 basis point rate hike? Probably not uh, as the Fed looks to see where the next move is coming from. So let's see what's happening with gold and dollar. Very exciting times because big opportunities are in the way as well. So let's see what's in store next time around. So thank you very much for joining me today. Uh, feel free to comment and like the video on YouTube. I'll get back to you as soon as possible with any of the answers uh, for your questions and we'll speak again tomorrow. Bye for now.